Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So clearly we're not at the office, we're on a plane. We're heading over to the United States. We're flying into Los Angeles. We're gonna be meeting up with a couple of our suppliers, um, visiting a few shops, and then we're gonna be heading out to Las Vegas because it's SEMA week. We're gonna be heading out there for a couple of days before and a day of the show. We'll be checking out all the cool builds, shooting everything on the way in, everything that's worthwhile seeing once you go to the show. It's a trip we do every single year and we're bringing you along with us. Bigger than I'm used to. Spacious. I don't know if I can handle the power. It said it was a 297 horsepower V6, so I'm only used to four cylinders, you know. So <laughs> we've had to we've had to opt for a minivan so we can take rolling shots. We were what? We we're gonna have a V8 of some sort. Yeah, 5.3 liter Hemi. Yeah, in. Engine. <laughs> to get in in two hundred. Three point six. Low range, four by four, isn't it? Right, Leo. Uh, we made it. Good. Oh, I think we really looked at the hanging. We're going to our first cultural spot in LA, which is Period Correct, who are a very cool clothing company, and they should hopefully have some pretty cool race cars inside. So. Let's find out. Do you want decal? And then two the same by the Needed. <laughs> first piece of First in and out ever. Are you ready for your first in and out experience? Look at those props. Here you go, boys. <laughs> first in and out at LAX. That's pretty cool. Day two of our American adventure, or I suppose this is actually day one really, because this is the first day we've actually probably been in the States. I've been to sleep, so it's day two. <laughs> got the coffee, got the got CSF and the sat nav, we're ready to go. Yeah, so we're gonna head up to CSF. Obviously, this is a week before SEMO, so most of the product is at SEMO that's being released. We just had a couple of things arrive yesterday, and we're gonna give you guys a nice sneak peek of, and also, obviously, whilst we're at the warehouse, 
we'll show you around and tell you a little bit more about CSF. You may have like, bought way too many donuts, Ego, there. I am impressed, impressed with this. I can't really open these up, but you get the idea. So you can only imagine what's in those two boxes. <laughs> Ravi's. They're for you, Ash. They're for you, Henry. No, no, no. Ravi's in for a treat today. Toyota and like Datsun were starting to bring cars into America. Yeah. We started making all those import car radiators in Singapore and then bring them over. It's like something we'll make for, uh, we make this in India. So our India factory is still operating. We've had that since the 40s. And this is like uh, something you would see like on a heavy equipment, industrial or agricultural type uh, machinery. That's, uh, we built that probably in the late 90s. Bin's got a letter and a number, and that's pretty much associated to where we put the parts. So uh, we try to put the highest velocity, fastest selling items all on the front row on the bottom. I mean, it's definitely a super efficient system. Um, even with, like, a, my father always says, this is like the most efficient low tech place you ever come to, yeah. right? Like, it is a manual, a lot of things are manual, but it works really, really well. all like your two and three ton American diesel truck stuff. So really big boxes and super high volume. I mean, this is what America's kind of built on is all the truck rads. So like depending on, you know, which part he's making, he'll just like flip to a different sheet and then that way he can check it. Uh, and then we'll have somebody else or the uh, person just do a QC process at the end and just double check everything. Make sure it's all in the box. So. Yeah, so you're upstairs on the, at the racing division, and like you know, when magazines used to be a little bit more prevalent, we used to be able to get a lot of these uh, displays made out of some of the features that featured, um, you know, some of our cooling systems. One of the, I guess, highlights, this must have been from 2015, so eight years ago, uh, we were one of the first brands to really bring a fully like Restomod innovative import to SEMA. Did a project on, ironically, it was a Mitsubishi Evo rally back, but Mitsubishi had made a couple for marketing that had full Evo 10 drivetrain. Right. But part of the thing with these cars is they're not legal. So after they're done with the marketing, they have to crush the car. So we just took the door as like a memento, I guess you would say. Okay, Ravi, well thank you very much for showing us around. Awesome. We'll catch you later on yep. dinner and um, go take the non lemon out. Absolutely. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming. We're at what, Santos Tacos in Huntington Beach. Look at that view over there. Henry's food tour. Uh, I'll, I'll be the judge of the three yeah. forks now.
pops out of the headphones working. <laughs> like, and he's like, yeah, obviously, they can't hear you. So it's day three of a USA trip. Yesterday we spent the day at CSF and in the evening we went out and shot the CSF 911. Then now we're heading out, it's about 5.30 in the morning. We're gonna catch a sunrise. We were friends at Titan Seven Wheels to shoot some Land Rover Defenders. So you probably can't see much now, but we have two Land Rover Defenders lined up with some Titan Seven Wheels. We're just waiting for the sunrise. If we can get these cars shot. How were all the uh, civilians? Really angry. Well, they. Yeah, crazy, crazy angry. <laughs> all of them were just one. Uh, there was another man with a dog, and the dog was angry, but the man was okay. Uh, yeah, that, she was the most pissed. Yeah. There's only three. So. She she looked really upset when she was she driving was, past. She's had a bad morning. You can tell. She had a bad night. So one of the defenders with more of a street track day kind of style in it with the five spoke split. And we've got this one with the AK ones. More of an off road kind of look. It's a wrap, Titan 7, two defenders shot. Yeah, I do have the keys. <laughs> People are coming. Let me move out of the way. Okay, guys, that is a wrap. We just shot two Titan 7 defenders on Titan 7 wheels. Got some banging sunrise shots. We're gonna head back to their HQ in California and check out even more cars on Titan 7. Let's go. We're here at uh, Titan 7. Okay, we're here at Titan 7 Wheels. We're with the main man, Eddie. Thank you for having us. We've got a bunch of cars to shoot this morning. Um, just run us through a real quick uh, synopsis of what we got. We rolled out the red carpet for you guys. We brought out a couple of NSXs. Uh, E92 M3. Um, what else did we bring? Two defenders. We shot Two defenders. I know you, are you, are you Brits love the defenders back at home. Uh, and to my right and left, we have our in house uh, Porsche Taycan with our 21 inch TR10s. And also over here, the ever popular Model 3 with our TS5s. Truly global cars, these ones. You see them all over the place. Absolutely, absolutely. We can't just have track wheels, we also want to focus on efficiency as well. So we're going to run into a separate video on these two and you can show us how you design EV wheel. Absolutely. So right now, we're lining up a load of cars to shoot for like catalog images. We're going to try and get some Images out to dealers so they can see what the wheels look like on cars. So FL5s just turned up. NSX. NSX over there somewhere. So big, big into Honda fitments as well as we've got a couple EVs. Tesla. Jimmy's Taycan here it's on TR10s, the 10 spokes. It was absolutely killer. So, J 
just heading around the corner now to do this, shoot this G80. So inside, got orange and black. Outside is like an icy kind of gray color. And I'm talking to you while Henry's, Henry's pointing at me and uh, I'm totally not going the right way. It's a sick day. <laughs> like they, these guys have so many cars. Did you see the Porsche driving? The, the GT3 and then the M2. No, yeah. It's like there's cars. So cool. ever, there's cars everywhere. This is. So this is one of those famous drag cars. This probably went like sixes and, or sevens in you know, a quarter mile. This is a Supra build that I don't think he ever ended up finishing. Yeah, but you can tell. Cool, but you can tell he put a lot of money into it. Mm. Um, you can tell this is at the time just standard car. Swipe bag. Sweet. <laughs> so what's this, Jimmy? This is the sensor drive. Sensor drive car that they use for time attack. Nuts. No. Pretty crazy. Was it TS5s? Mm -hmm. Satin titanium. With titanium lug nuts. Nice. You shaved your head? Yeah, I had a bit of a haircut overnight. <laughs> you ever heard of continuity or anything like that? I got in at 2 a.m. You do last like, night. You know what? I'm going to freshen up. Just scout it. <laughs> so, the final day in LA? Final day in LA. We just checked out of our hotel, motel, whatever you want to call it. And we're heading over to, uh, I don't know, what Ravi's we'll like. See Ravi once layer. again. Apparently, he has some sort of car layer unit thing. So, LA, in an LA style. So. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. So we're gonna, yeah, so we're gonna head over there, check it out. We're gonna see the RS6. It's got a couple of other cool cars there as well. My personal favorite, 906 Turbo. Um, the Riff one as well, so that's gonna be really, really cool. So yeah, let's go. Right, let's go, let's go. I was saying you get to decorate it however you want. Yeah, so you essentially just buy a shell and then you do all the like interior renovations. But for me, I actually bought this from the developer. So this was the model unit. So he sold it to me and it was like move-in ready. So I just like literally came in. Yeah, I didn't have to do anything. So it was nice. So 
Just walk right in. Yeah. But now, I, I guess the difficult part you were saying to us the other night in LA, there's like no no car storage, or it's really hard to park your cars at home. I think, like yeah, I think just because of like real estate, you know, in Southern California is so expensive. Yeah. Most people have like big houses and large car collections, but they don't have a really large garage. This makes so, perfect sense. Yeah, this is pretty close to like the airport and, yeah. you know, Newport Beach and it's pretty central in Orange County. So a lot of people just, you know, I'm starting to like do this type of thing. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, and we're going to shoot you R6 today. Everyone's got their own like. It's interesting because everyone's got their own choice of cars yeah. and also their own choice of like interior decorating. Okay. No, I'll see you guys in Vegas. Like, have a safe drive. Let me know about Mad Greek. Um, okay, so either get the Hero or get the Onassis Burger. Oh no. Okay. Left me hanging. Oh, sorry, dude. I didn't see you, man. Good job, boys. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, Thank you. I'm literally gonna park here. We'll jump out. It's so free. I can't, I can't park it out, though. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. The, um, the security guards can be like, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> So we've come to the end of the first section of our US trip, the LA portion. We've met up with some really cool people. We've shot some amazing cars. We've actually done way more than we thought we would. We've come to Henry's favorite shop twice, period, correct? It's time to get coffee and hit the road and head to Vegas. Yeah, so in Vegas, we're gonna be covering SEMA and everything that it has to offer in Vegas itself, shooting some super cool cars, some super cool scenes. So make sure you don't miss that. The way you're not gonna miss it is by subscribing to the channel. So we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch other videos of ours that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist, then click here. And obviously if you enjoyed the video, then we really appreciate if you gave us a subscription. Um, and then obviously you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live. And you can do that quite easily by clicking here. Hope to see you soon.